Sahalin, or Sahalin, you know, it's a little island right here, uh, off the eastern coast of Russia, <clears throat> very, and then it's just north of, uh, Japan, it used to be split between Japan and Russia, um, before World War II, so it's a very isolated island, now, in this gameplay right now, I'm gonna be basically fighting Russia to take Sakhalin Island, but what I'm gonna explain to you is why it's not important, or why, why, what is the relevance of Sahalin? and rise of nations right so we know where it is we know where it's located right <clears throat> now what's the benefits of it there's not many resources on there it's pretty ice it's like it's a long island it's pretty isolated uh russia doesn't really have to care about it unless you know japan or china challenges them for it or somebody wants to buy it sahalin doesn't really have a standpoint to like okay here it is you know it matters to japan because you know they don't have something like that but the only reason why Sahalin is so isolated is because it's a little island. Because it's just on the, in, it's a little island and on the east near Siberia. You know, somewhere Russia doesn't really have to focus on ever, unless they get invaded by Germany or unless they get invaded by uh, Spain or not Spain, uh, China. You know, so they never have to focus on it. They don't really care about, you know, Sahalin Island. But Japan will. Japan player might, if you want to challenge Russia, challenge over the island, take it. But otherwise, Sahalin doesn't have many resources. It's a pretty small island when it comes to population. Maybe it's a couple hundred thousand. I don't know exactly. Um, but it's it's so isolated to the point where it, it's just there. Like you, I would say, if you're Russia, sell it off to somebody. Do make like a colony. Sell it to let's just say sell it to uh, Germany as like a treaty port. Uh, and just have them own it like a little territory be in Asia, you know, <clears throat> that'd be the best thing Right and and also another thing is that Sahalin is an arctic, but it is winter. Well, no, I think it is severe arctic So what you have to do is basically train your troops if you ever station anything there winter specialization for faster movement and uh, Just basically that you have to make sure you have supply say if someone invades Sahalin you invade back, you know, your Russia you need a uh, specialization to move around. The same thing with all Siberia. That's why it's very unimportant to Russia because it's a horrible winter. It's very horrible. But in Sahalin, you have good supplies. But the island doesn't have too much value except for trying to control or intimidate Russia, you know, on the east, eastern sea, you know, close to the USA. But otherwise, I don't think Sahalin really has an importance to. And like globally, Sahalin doesn't really matter. It's not on a big stage. Like it's not as important as like the Suez or um <clears throat> or um you know the ca the canal that goes through Denmark, you know, or Panama Canal. And there's no trade that goes. You can't trade anyway. So you can trade in the game, but you don't have like trade transports or everything like that. But Sahalin is just positioned in the wrong place. If Sahalin was just positioned more to the right, maybe like right. You see where this is positioned right now in the camera, or in the one I'm showing right in the gameplay. It was positioned just to the right, more to the east of, or northeast of Ainu Island, or not Ainu Island, the Hokkaido, I guess. Um, if it was more to the east and farther away from the mainland of Russia, guess what? That would be an island that really stands out, and a really long island that actually is, you know, out and out by itself. So it would have more importance of, like, okay, Russia, let me, let me use the naval base and actually put stuff on here. Russia doesn't have to do that. Or they have Vladivostok, you know, on the, on the east right here, they have Vladivostok, and then the one you see right here, next to it, in, in the bottom left, you can see it right there. But Sahalin has some, you know, naval well, ports right there. But, they don't have as much, you know, Russia doesn't really have to garrison them. If they go to war with China, they don't care about Sahalin, they don't have to defend Sahalin. Uh, nobody really, like, are you going to justify on Russia for Sahalin? The USA won't do that. I've never seen USA read them before in my life. Uh, in this gameplay I'm doing before, I'm warring Russia for Sahalin. This is a liberation war, though. So, <clears throat> that's the only people who really care about it. And Russia will be pretty much safe, you know, if they just sell Sahalin or just throw it away, you know. But otherwise, it really has no use. It has maybe three. I gotta count once this goes away, but it has a couple cities, right? Very small populations in winter. Which is terrible for Russia, uh, or basically on, on the east is terrible for Russia. But if you ever try to invade the east of Siberia, you're gonna literally fail every time, um, or just suffer major attrition and losses. And it's not a good battleground either. 
Uh, the best thing that works in Silent is artillery. I played in this game. Artillery works perfect in destroyers. They put martyr units and are in. <laughs> they do perfect, you know. And I wouldn't. You can't build an airport on it, so it's not. You can't put an airport. And if if you buy it, and then if you buy it as another country as a port, treaty port, you can't put a airport on it because there's no one one five hundred thousand population on it. I don't think. And these cities are too small, right? I don't know about the big city in the south, but they might be a little larger. But, um, <clears throat> it's not big enough, right? So there's an issue with that, and there's an issue with, um, just the way that you would use it, basically. Uh, it doesn't have the importance, it never will, just, just being honest, doesn't have the importance that matches up to Hokkaido over here. The northern island where the Ainu used to live, and they need a population there. Um, that's that island right there for Japan. It's really important. Why? Because they can use it as a naval base against Japan or against China or uh, Russia or the USA. Now let's say if if the USA and Japan have a war two, uh, United States is invading. They work their way up in China. Well, where should they invade from? The North, Hokkaido. Take a lot of their population. Go from the south. Squeeze China, uh, Japan in. You know, once they do that, they'll do them perfect. But for Russia, Japan. Uh, for Russia, if I was the USA invading Russia or anybody else invading Russia, don't focus on Sahalin because it won't really help you. It, it, it's just a winter island that's just really going to isolate you and just take up maybe two or three minutes of your time, uh, <clears throat> two or three minutes of your troops' time, being stationed there and being busy there. Right? It just takes up a lot of your time. So don't devote yourself there. But I would say devote yourself, if you're China invading Russia, devote yourself to actual Siberia and then take Sahalin better. Or Thailand later, because then, then you have time to spare to put into that and instead of micro all units. You don't have to micro units anyways. You can't just put them on auto capture in Siberia and you can't do it like that. You have to take what you need, get supplies, move on from there. Right? Sahalin, good with supplies. Otherwise, very unimportant. Not a lot of resources. There might, there might be oil there. I don't know. Um, just forgotten. I would say forgotten. Nobody really, you know, you don't see like. Sahalin ever being brought up in world chats unless it's a situation like Russia gets invaded by the USA or anything like that. But hopefully you guys can take this information for yourself. Um, just let me rambling. But if you don't believe me or, or don't agree with it, test it out yourself. Look at what Sahalin has. Look at the resource, look at the manpower there. Look at all the population there. And look at the income you get from it. <clears throat> it's not really beneficial to Russia. You know, it has been beneficial ever. It's a little beneficial for Navy. Right? So you should Navy there. And just... Being a good place for if you invade, you get supply zones, you can supply your units easily. But try it out yourself. Play Russia, play Rising Nations as well. Um, but Sahalin, unfortunately, is very unimportant. Siberia, just like Siberia, is very unimportant to all the world in Rising Nations. They don't really care about Siberia at all. That's why you never see anybody offer to buy any of Siberia because it's really worth nothing. Because there's winter, there's Arctic, and it would suck ass to station any units there. Because it's, there's so much winter, there's so much starvation that you would have, and it's just a real adventure that you don't want to do.